Hey everybody, it's me, Bayla Stray. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be discussing Canada's Drag Race, season one, episode five. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so the girls get back to the workroom and Alona is still crying, saying she can't believe she sent Tainomi home. And I kind of just feel like they're alligator tears that she just wants attention, she just wants screen time. And it seems that's all girls do these days to get screen time on Drag Race is cry. <laughs> Bianca's getting shade for being perfect. And it's the next day in the workroom and Alona is she's still crying about sending Tainomi home. And Priyanka says, get over it. You're here to perform and you're here to win. So if you're not in it, get out of it. And then Alona is offended once again. So then Brooklyn comes in and it's the reading challenge because what? Reading is fundamental. Alona, Scarlett, Boa, and Kiara, they weren't funny to me at all. So sorry sis. And when Lemon said to Priyanka, the only thing you're fucking is stupid, I screamed, bitch. And Jimbo was cute. Rita was cute for reading Brooklyn. And then Brooklyn announces that it's Snatch Game. Jeffrey does a walkthrough. And he honestly did not give me anything in that walkthrough. That was the most boring walkthrough I've ever seen. He didn't give anybody advice. He didn't really say anything. The only thing we got was more Jeffrey versus Jimbo. And at the beginning of the Snatch Game, the girls did a red carpet. It was really cute. So Kiara played Mariah and I was excited because I love Mariah Carey, but she was so boring and she really didn't deliver anything besides tip. And then Alona was some porn star named Rebecca something, but she just known for saying cock destroy us. And she was hilarious. Like she was a real standout for me. She was nasty. And Jimbo was Joan Rivers. He was good. He was doing cocaine. He was, he was funny. And then we had Priyanka as Miss Cleo. And honestly, after the beginning, I forgot she was there until the end. Then we had Rita as Ida Piff. And I really don't know who she is, but she's a French actress. And she was really funny. She was really drunk. She was really high. She was real a mess. And it was funny. So Boa ended up doing Gypsy Rose, the girl who murdered her mom. I think because it's so controversial, she was scared to go there. And I know some drag queen always attacks Trixie Mattel for when she did a Gypsy Row number. Lemon, she did Jojo Siwa. She was a really standing out. I lived for it. Like she hit every joke Jojo Siwa had. Scarlett came out as Liza. She was really funny. She was really on point and she was a star. And I didn't know um, Liza was Judy Garland's daughter, so fun fact. So then it was Knights of a Thousand Celine. I don't know if I would know any Celine Dion look. I guess she's Canadian. So Boa came out. I wasn't really looking for it. She kind of looked like a wet mop, but she was kind of serving it like for a wet mop. <laughs> and Scarlet served. I love the look. It was really basic. So you go, Glenn Coco. And uh, for some reason, to me, Rita just looked really old. Like, I don't know what it was. Jimbo went out there and she served fashion. Like, I was not expecting that from Jimbo. Of course, she didn't know how to do her makeup, but she was serving fashion. Then there was Lemon. And of course, she was serving a train, but it was ugly. She looked ugly. Like, I was not living for her at all. Then there was Kiara. And Kiara actually, that's the best I think she looked like all season long. And Alona came out in this, like, white and pink leather and it was really on brand for her. I really enjoyed that for her. And then Priyanka came out. She was serving camp. She was serving glamour. She really served it. Like I liked her two looks in one. And so the winner of the episode was Jimbo, which I kind of think he deserved. He looked good. He was funny on Snatch Game. And the bottom two were Priyanka and Kiara. And that lip sync was actually kind of good. Kiara was serving way too much, but I was kind of living for it. But like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm team Priyanka. And when Kiara did that death drop and that thump they did for her was hilarious. Like, bitch, they did not have to do that. But Priyanka won, rightfully so. And that was that. Like, honestly, I felt like it was Kiara's time to go. Like, like since she got there, like, I don't know. I never felt anything from her. I'm excited for Priyanka. I'm excited for Rita. I don't know how I feel about Lemon and Jimbo. Like, I don't know. But that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And all that other YouTube stuff. So, bye, babe.